go out, but all I can do is just cook some food, watch some YouTube videos on the bed, and washing hands! <sighs> anyway, today's topic is taking a bow in Japan. People rarely shake hands in Japan. Instead, we take a bow. So, today I will share with you how you should take a bow in Japan. So, let's get started. In Japan, when we take a bow, we judge the situation and act accordingly. Do you know what I mean? I will show 12 examples. Let's go! Good すいません。本日はどうぞよろしくお願いいたします。どうもありがとうございました。遅れて誠に申し訳ございません。あ、おはようございます。本当に。よろしくお願いします。お願いします。お許しいただけないでしょうか。<笑> さんを僕にください。娘さんをください。お願いします。お願いします。お願いします。Did you enjoy it? <sighs> we take a bow for greetings, basically. But we also take a bow when we want to express our appreciation, apology, and ask something. What is important when you bow is do not keep looking at the eyes. You should look 
at the ground when you bow. That's very important. So remember it. If you take a bow with looking at the eyes, with keep looking at the eyes, Japanese people will take it weird. As you can see from the previous clips, there are three types of bow in Japan. The first one is a casual bow, and the second one is sincere bow, and the third one is dogeza. So the first one. A casual bow is mostly used. This bow is like hi, thanks, or oops, sorry. It's like this. Once again, just bend your waist lightly. The angle is 30 degrees. The second one, sincere bow, it is used on business mostly. A sincere bow shows more severeness than a casual bow. It's like this. Once again, bend your waist more deeply. The angle is 60 degrees. You can bend your waist more deeply. The more deeply you bend your waist, the severer apology or appreciation you express. And the third one, dogeza. I think this is the one of what you shouldn't do because it has a so drastic, severe meaning. Anyway, you shouldn't do it. It's like this: kneel down on the ground and put your head on the ground as well. In most cases, this type of bow is used to express the deepest apology. Plus, it's like. Eating dirt for Japanese people to do this together. <sighs> Did you enjoy my video? I think now you're master of taking a bow. Two more advices for you. One is take a bow actively during your stay in Japan. Taking a bow is a greetings, as I said before. So to take a bow actively will make your communication more smoothly. The second one is. Do not do this. You don't need to put your hands together. You don't need to put your hands together. This is a Thai style bow, and we usually don't do this bow. So, thank you for watching this video. If you have any topic that you want me to pick up, please share it with me in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So. Yeah. <laughs>